While St. Mary's pops off in terms of analytics and statistics, I think we have to take them with a grain of salt considering they play in a very top-heavy WCC. When factoring in their most recent matchups to a true contender in Gonzaga, 77-68, 77-51, you see that they may be a tad overrated in terms of the analytics. You could make a similar argument about VCU in the Atlantic 10. However, the Rams didn't have many letdowns this year and won both the regular season and the tournament championship. Adrian Baldwin Jr. should be able to match Logan Johnson's production in the backcourt, while we'll see a great battle between Jalen Deloach and Mitchell Saxon down low. Ultimately, I think this should be an entertaining clash between two mid-majors, but I expect VCU to keep it inside of a one-possession game, if not, win outright. Yep, give me the VCU Rams at plus four and a half. These programs have each excelled on the defensive side of the ball this year and are both sitting inside of the top 20 in terms of defensive efficiency. In terms of defensive shooting, VCU ranks 41st, limiting their opponents to just a 41.5% field goal percentage. St. Mary's is 43rd, boasting an identical 41.5% mark. On top of their defensive prowess, St. Mary's is literally the fourth slowest team in the country using just 61.7 possessions per 40 minutes. VCU isn't too much faster, sitting as 146th quickest team, using 68.0 possessions. We should be in for a grinder, a true defensive clash on Friday. Let's lock in on the under. Two plays we go with once again, we are going. VCU plus four and a half. VCU St. Mary's under 122. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. I was interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get him. Get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit.